It's some of the most dumbest shit that happened. The tire was definitely finna come right off. If I would've kept driving like a stupid, bro. What's the deal, YouTube? I'm back with another video, man. I'ma just pick up where I left off on my last video because if you was paying attention, it started raining at the end of my video. I couldn't even put all of my interior parts that I had got, you know, like all of that carbon fiber stuff that I was showing y'all, I couldn't even put it in the inside because it started raining. Today, I'm about to put all the interior parts in there that I was showing y'all. The second thing I gotta do, I gotta go get my tires, uh, my lugs, or my, you know, my bolts tightened up because when my man's did my calipers, you know, he put the bolts back on with a tool. He didn't really have his gun that he usually used, so after, you know, I'm done putting the interior parts in, I'm gonna go clean her off because you can see, like, she real dirty just from, you know, getting wet the other day in the rain. This is what it look like now. See, I got this all scratched up, tore up. My mats is trash. Even the same mats in here since I got the car. Literally all of this is just all you know regular. So y'all can see this now. I'll show y'all after. So let me know what y'all think about these new carbon fiber parts that I just put in here. Still got like three more parts coming. I got this little part coming that's about to be carbon fiber. I'm actually not like sure what else is supposed to be coming, but I'ma get the carbon fiber stuff, you know, for all right here. I definitely want to do something about the, you know, the, the, the chrome right here. So I'ma get rid of that. Do y'all think I should get the stars up here in the inside? Even though I don't really drive that much at night, I'm, I'm really thinking about doing it because it's just going to make the whole inside pop. It's just way too dark in here, especially, you know, having this 5% tint. So let me know what y'all think if i should get the stars up here i'm gonna go clean my car out right now and i'm gonna put the mat my new mats in after the ones that got the ss uh badge on it it'd be stupid for me you know to put them in now and i'm gonna have to take them out with my you know you can see that the inside is really dirty so i'd rather clean that out and then put the new mats in so i just got here to the tire shop man so all i really need them to do is tighten up my own um, my lugs for me but yeah as you can see i ended up redoing the ss sign and they look way better so let me know what y'all think at first they wasn't really matching like that but now they the same exact blue so real dirty like that's literally just from sitting in the garage bro from water dropping through the garage and shit so as soon as i leave here i'm gonna go to the wash and i'm gonna clean it up and pull it in real quick already and they just finna tighten up my lugs, so I'll be in and out. They ain't really doing nothing with the tires. But it is something I noticed about my tires really like a few weeks ago that I never said nothing about. So let's see if they gonna wanna do it or. What year is this, bro? Uh, 17. Yeah. yeah. So another thing I was trying to say that I noticed, if you see. The right side pop out how it's supposed to but this tire is not supposed to pop out like that because if you look this whole side is kind of tucked in so what happened is the rim that's on this wheel is really supposed to go in the back because that rim is wider so that's really what's going on that's why that side looks a little farther out you got your lug nuts tool? yeah yeah Yeah, all kinds of shit going on this last on my side. Hell yeah, I did mods, everything. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. And now they fuck with you. Yeah. No, nah, I don't know why they don't. I think because they know I probably do YouTube because I be doing YouTube with this car shit. So if they stop me, they just going to look stupid. They going to be on YouTube. Right. <laughs> I don't do shit. Everything is legit shit. But it's real dirty. I'm about to go clean it off as soon as I leave here because it's dirty as hell. But like everybody be saying like my cousin just put up he like bro videos pictures nothing do justice bro in person is way better and like even on my camera like it look more like darker like it's like way brighter in person like way lighter I'm not liking the way these are turning brother so they turning yeah I mean it's I just don't know if they're not all the way tight no, they wasn't all the way tight Cause my, my friend just, uh, we just did the calipers the other day. 
right. and he didn't really have something to tighten him up all the way. So as soon as he was done, he like, as soon as before you even drive it or something, go to a car shop and had him tighten the lugs up. So that's really all I needed was to get him tightened up. Right, but I mean, shit, these motherfuckers. <laughs> I mean, that's scary. I don't know if they're just that loose. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm. That's probably three full turns up now. It just feels like it's getting looser. Yep, underfoot. Feel it. So the most dumbest shit happened. So I went to the tire shop to get my shit tightened up, and the front would not tighten up at all. And I was thinking it was because of the spacers. I wasn't too sure, but like I said, the back was tightened up. The front was was not working. So as I'm driving, I start hearing like a noise, like like a cracking noise, like something was loosening up. So I stopped and I got the little key you know, from my locks, and I tried to tighten them up. But I had a feeling they wasn't tightened up, you know, because if they couldn't do that at the shop, how the hell you know what I'd be able to do by myself? So I just started riding a little bit, and I heard it cracking worse. So I stopped, and two of the lug nuts came off. So I knew, you know, I had to do something, because if I keep on driving, you know, my tire gonna fall off, and I would be, my tire fall off, you know, my car go down, it could fuck up the bumper, the, the whole left fender, anything, so. I just went and got some new studs, some brand new studs and new keys, and we're gonna see if that's a problem because, as you can see, they stripped real bad. So that's why they probably wasn't, you know, tightened up when they kept trying to tighten them up, because it was all stuck, all you know, right here. So we got all of that off, and we just got new lugs and shit. So we're gonna see how this works, and if it don't work, I'm gonna have to just take the spacers off because the spacers just, you know, making it harder for it. You know the studs that get locked on there, so we finna see how this go. The tire is definitely finna come right off. If I would have kept driving like a stupid, bro, if I would have just mashed the gas, them bitches would definitely lose. Like this nigga ain't tight that bitch, yeah. Unless them niggas you went over there and them niggas like, stripped them like worse, yeah. Shit, man, but they was they kept doing it. They like, bro, the front ones they not getting loose, they not getting tight. They that, the other side doing the same shit though, so we, we might have to see. We just got these tight, so the problem was all of the ones that wasn't going on, they were stripped. Like, so really, I just needed new studs, so I should be good. If it ended up happening again, I know the problem is my spacer, so. I'm straight. I'm finna finally go to the wash and clean her off like I was supposed to do hours ago. So I'll see y'all when I get to the wash, man. I just washed her off. I didn't dry it up yet, so I'm gonna pull out and hurry up and dry it up, you know it. Cause I need to hurry up. I've been taking all day. So my tire situation is good. I don't gotta worry about that. I'm gonna just hurry up and dry it real quick. Dried her off, so I'm about to pull it out real quick. And I'm gonna do the inside just because, like I, I showed y'all earlier, the inside's real dirty and I wanna put the new mats in there, so. She looks real good right now. I didn't even hit her with the detail spray, so. I'll pull it out real quick for y'all, man. put these new mats in here. It's been a while really since I cleaned the inside out. I'll show y'all in two seconds. 
I ain't gonna lie, bro. I love these mats, bro. They fit perfect. Literally, the back fit perfect. I'm gonna show y'all the other side, too. But, like, I like these mats, bro. I feel these heavy. They literally made for them because you can see they fit in the perfect spot. But the inside look like a whole different car, man. It looked 10 times better. All the carbon fiber stuff. And if y'all see yellow, because I didn't do my door jams, like, people always, you know, say stuff about the door jams, but, like, to me, I feel like it's real pointless to do my door jams, because if I wrap the inside of my door jams blue, what if I end up getting rid of this wrap? And that means I'm gonna have to change the whole inside. So that's just doing way too much. Me, I don't care about door jams. I don't know, you know, if other people, they wrap their cars, they really care about door jams, but it's just stupid to do literally all of this blue. Cause it's not like I'm keeping this wrap forever. You know what I'm saying? So it'd be stupid if I got the inside blue, say next year in a few months, I want to change my wrap. Now the inside gonna be blue. That's just more money. You know what I'm saying? Like, who even see the inside of the car, anyways? So I have to do this, this, this. That's just it's just stupid, bro. Like my car fine like this. So I'm gonna probably end this video right here, man. I need to, you know, hurry up and finish up my car. You know, just detail it real quick. So. I'm gonna end this video right here, man. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, man. Give it a comment. Let me know how you feel about it, man. And we almost at 400 subscribers. Let's try to get the 400 subscribers, but I'm gonna end this video right here, man. Got it out the mouth.